The Democratic Party, Italian, Partito Democratico, PD, is a social democratic political party in Italy. The party's secretary, Maurizio Martina, who was elected by the National Assembly in July 2018 to replace Matteo Renzi after the party. S. Defeat in the 2018 general election, resigned on 30 October 2018, to start the 2019 leadership election campaign. Matteo Orfini serves as president. The PD was founded on 14 October 2007 upon the merger of various center-left parties which had been part of the Olive Tree List and the Union Coalition in the 2006 general election. They notably included, the Social Democratic Democrats of the Left, DS, successors of the Italian Communist Party and the Democratic Party of the Left, which was folded with several Social Democratic Parties, Labor Federation, Social Christians, etc., in 1998, and the largely Catholic-inspired Democracy is Freedom, the Daisy, DL, merger of the Italian People's Party, heir of the Christian Democracy Party's left wing, the Democrats and Italian Renewal in 2002. The PD's main ideological trends are thus social democracy and the Italian Christian leftist tradition. The party has been also influenced by social liberalism, which was already present in some of the founding components of the DS and DL, and more generally by a third-way progressivism. The PD was the second largest party in Italy in the 2018 general election, and it is currently the third largest in the Chamber of Deputies and fourth largest in the Senate by number of MPs. As of July 2018, Democrats had 11 regional governments out of 20 and function as coalition partners in two more regions. Since 2013 the Italian government has been led by three successive Democratic Prime Ministers, Enrico Letta 2013-2014, Matteo Renzi 2014-2016, and Paolo Gentiloni 2016-2018. Prominent Democrats include Walter Veltroni, Secretary, 2007-2009, Dario Franceschini, Secretary, 2009, Piero Fassino, Marco Miniti, Graziano Del Rio, Pier Carlo Padoan, Carlo Calenda, Maria Elena Bashi, Federica Mogherini, Deborah Siracchiani, Lorenzo Guarini, Ettore Rosato, Luigi Zanda, Sergio Chiamparino, Stefano Bonaccini, Nicola Zingaretti, Vincenzo De Luca, Michelle Emiliano, Giuseppe Sala, Lea Luca Orlando, Virginio Marola and Dario Nardella. Former members include Giorgio Napolitano, President of Italy, 2006-2015, Sergio Mattarella, President of Italy, since 2015, Romano Prodi, Giuliano Amato, Massimo De Lima, Pier Luigi Bersani, Secretary, 2009-2013, Guglielmo Epifani, Secretary, 2013, Francesco Rutelli and Pietro Grasso. History Background, the olive tree In the early 1990s, following Tangentopoli scandals, the end of the so-called First Republic and the transformation of the Italian Communist Party PCI, into the Democratic Party of the Left PDS, a process aimed at uniting left-wing and center-left forces into a single political entity was started. In 1995 Romano Prodi, a former Minister of Industry on behalf of the left-wing faction of Christian Democracy DC, entered politics and founded the Olive Tree L. Ulivo, a center-left coalition including the PDS, the Italian People. S Party PPI, the Federation of the Greens FDV, Italian Renewal RE, the Italian Socialists SI, and Democratic Union UD. The coalition, in alliance with the Communist Refoundation Party PRC, won the 1996 general election and Prodi became Prime Minister. In February 1998 the PDS merged with minor Social Democratic Parties Labor Federation, Social Christians, etc. to become the Democrats of the Left DS, while in March 2002 the PPI, RE and the Democrats Prodi's own party, launched in 1999, became Democracy is Freedom, the Daisy, DL. In the summer of 2003 Prodi suggested that the center-left forces would participate in the 2004 European Parliament election with a common list. Whereas the Union of Democrats for Europe -E and the far-left parties refused, four parties accepted, the DSDL, the Italian Democratic Socialists SDI, and the European Republicans Movement MRE. They launched a joint list named 
United in the Olive Tree, Unity Nelalivo, which ran in the election and garnered 31.1% of the vote. The project was later abandoned in 2005 by the SDI. In the 2006 general election the list obtained 31.3% of the vote for the Chamber of Deputies. Road to the Democratic Party The project of a Democratic Party was often mentioned by Prodi as the natural evolution of the olive tree and was bluntly envisioned by Michel Salvati, a former centrist deputy of the DS, in an appeal in Il Foglio newspaper in April 2013. The term Partito Democratico was used for the first time in a formal context by the DL and DS members of the Regional Council of Veneto, who chose to form a joint group named the Olive Tree Venetian Democratic Party, Lilivo Partito Democratico Veneto, in March 2007. The 2006 election result, anticipated by the 2005 primary election in which over 4 million voters endorsed Prodi as candidate for prime minister, gave a push to the project of a unified center left party. Eight parties agreed to merge into the PD. Democrats of the Left, DS, Social Democratic, Leader, Piero Fassino. Democracy is Freedom, The Daisy, DL, Centrist, Leader, Francesco Rutelli. Southern Democratic Party, PDM, Centrist, Leader, Agazio Laero. Sardinia Project, PS, Social Democratic, Leader, Renato Soru. European Republicans Movement MRE, Social Liberal, Leader, Luciana Sabarbati. Democratic Republicans Road, Social Liberal, Leader, Giuseppe Osorio. Middle Italy IDM, Centrist, Leader, Marco Fellini. Reformist Alliance R, Social Democratic, Leader, Ottaviano del Turco. While the DL agreed to the merger with virtually no resistance, the DS experienced a more heated final Congress. On 19 April 2007 approximately 75% of party members voted in support of the merger of the DS into the PD. The left-wing opposition, led by Fabio Mussi, obtained just 15% of the support within the party. A third motion, presented by Gavino Angius and supportive of the PD only within the Party of European Socialists PES, obtained 10% of the vote. During and following the Congress, both Mussi and Angius announced their intention not to join the PD and founded a new party called Democratic Left SD. On the 22nd of May 2007 the composition of the organizing committee of the nascent party was announced. It featured 45 members, mainly politicians from the two aforementioned major parties and the leaders of the other six minor parties, but included also external figures such as Giuliano Amato, Marcello De Cecco, Gad Lerner, Carlo Petrini and Tullia Zevi. On 18 June the committee met to decide the rules for the open election of the 2,400 members of the party's constituent assembly. Prodi announced each voter would choose between a number of lists, each of them associated with a candidate for secretary. Foundation and leadership election All candidates interested in running for the PD leadership had to be associated with one of the founding parties and present at least 2,000 valid signatures by 30 July 2007. A total of 10 candidates officially registered their candidacy, Walter Veltroni, Rosie Bindi, Enrico Letta, Furio Colombo, Marco Pinella, Antonio Di Pietro, Mario Adinolfi, Pier Giorgio Gavronsky, Jacopo Chattini, Lucio Congini and Amerigo Rutigliano. Of these, Pinella and Di Pietro were rejected because of their involvement in external parties the Radicals and Italy of Values respectively, whereas Congini and Rutigliano did not manage to present the necessary 2,000 valid signatures for the 9 p.m. deadline, and Colombo's candidacy was instead made into hiatus in order to give him 48 additional hours to integrate the required documentation. Colombo later decided to retire his candidacy citing his impossibility to fit with all the requirements. All rejected candidates had the chance against the decision in 48 hours. Time, with Pinella and Rutigliano being the only two candidates to appeal against it. Both were rejected on 3 August. On 14 October 2007 Veltroni was elected leader with about 75% of the national votes in an open primary attended by over 3 million voters. 
Beltroni was proclaimed secretary during a party's constituent assembly held in Milan on the 28th of October 2007. On the 21st of November, the new logo was unveiled. It depicts the party acronym PD with colors reminiscent of the Italian tricolor flag, green, white, and red, and features an olive branch, the historical symbol of the olive tree. In the words of Ermet Rilacci, green represents the ecologist and social liberal cultures, white is for the Catholic solidarity and red for the socialist and social democratic traditions. The green-white-red idea was coined by Shatini during his campaign. Leadership of Walter Veltroni after the premature fall of the Prodi II cabinet in January 2008, the PD decided to form a less diverse coalition. The party invited the Radicals and the Socialist Party PS, to join its lists, but only the Radicals accepted, and formed an alliance with Italy of Values IDV, which was set to join the PD after the election. The PD included many notable candidates and new faces in its lists and Walter Veltroni, who tried to present the PD as the party of the renewal in contrast both with Silvio Berlusconi and the previous center-left government, ran an intense and modern campaign, which led him to visit all provinces of Italy, but that was not enough. In the 2008 general election on 13-14 April 2008 the PDIDV coalition won 37.5% of the vote and was defeated by the center-right coalition, composed of the People of Freedom PDL, the Lega Nord and the Movement for the Autonomy 46.8%. The PD was able to absorb some votes from the parties of the far left, as also IDV did, but lost voters to the Union of the Center UDC, ending up with 33.2% of the vote, 217 deputies and 119 senators. After the election Beltroni, who was gratified by the result, formed a shadow cabinet. IDV, excited by its 4.4% which made it the fourth largest party in parliament, refused to join both the Democratic groups and the shadow cabinet. The early months after the election were a difficult time for the PD and Veltroni, whose leadership was weakened by the growing influence of internal factions, because of the popularity of Berlusconi and the dramatic rise of IDV in opinion polls. IDV became a strong competitor of the PD and the relations between the two parties became tense. In the 2008 Abruzzo regional election the PD was forced to support IDV candidate Carlo Costantini. In October Veltroni, who distanced from Di Pietro many times, declared that, on some issues he, Di Pietro, is distant from the democratic language of the center-left. Leadership of Dario Franceschini In February 2009, after a crushing defeat in the Sardinian regional election, Walter Veltroni resigned as party secretary and was replaced by his deputy Dario Franceschini on an interim basis to guide the party toward the selection of a new stable leader. Franceschini was elected by the party's National Assembly with 1,047 votes out of 1,258. His only opponent Arturo Parisi won a mere 92 votes. Franceschini was the first former Christian Democrat to lead the party. The 2009 European Parliament election was an important test for the PD. Prior to the election, the PD considered offering hospitality to the Socialist Party PS, and the Greens in its lists, and proposed a similar pact to Democratic Left SD. However, the Socialists, the Greens and Democratic Left, decided instead to contest the election together as a new alliance called Left and Freedom, which failed to achieve the 4% threshold required to return any MEPs, but damaged the PD, which gained 26.1% of the vote, returning 21 MEPs. The National Congress and the subsequent leadership primary were announced for October. By July three candidates announced their bid, Pier Luigi Bersani, Ignazio Marino and the outgoing secretary Dario Franceschini. Leadership of Pier Luigi Bersani In the local congresses a 56.4% of party members voted and Bersani was by far the most voted candidate with 55.1% of the vote, largely ahead of Franceschini and Marino on 25 October 2009, Bersani was elected new secretary of the party with about 53% of the vote in an open primary in which 3 million people participated. 
Franceschini got 34% and Marino 13%. On 7 November, during the first meeting of the new National Assembly, Bersani was declared secretary, Rosie Bindi was elected party president with Marina Sereni and Ivan Scalfaroto vice presidents, Enrico Letta deputy secretary and Antonio Missiani treasurer, in reaction to the election of Bersani, perceived by some moderates as an old-style social democrat, Francesco Rutelli, a longtime critic of the party. S. Course, and other centrists and liberals within the PD left in order to form a new centrist party, named Alliance for Italy API. Following March 2009, and especially after Bersani's victory, many deputies, senators, one MEP and several regional, local councillors left the party to join the UDC, API and other minor parties, they included many Rutiliani and most Theo Dems. In March 2010 a big round of regional elections, involving 11 regions, took place. The PD lost four regions to the center-right Piedmont, Lazio, Campania and Calabria, and maintained its hold on six Liguria, Emilia-Romagna, Tuscany, Marche, Umbria and Basilicata, plus Apulia, a traditionally conservative region where, due to divisions within the center-right, Nietzsche Vendola of SEL was re-elected with the PD's support. In September 2011 Bersani was invited by Antonio Di Pietro's IDV to take part to its annual late summer convention in Vasto, Abruzzo. Bersani, who had been accused by Di Pietro of avoiding him in order to court the center-right UDC, proposed the formation of a new olive tree coalition comprising the PD, IDV and SEL. The three party leaders agreed in what was soon dubbed the Pact of Vasto. However, after the resignation of Silvio Berlusconi as Prime Minister in November 2011, the PD gave external support to Mario Monti's technocratic government, along with the PDL and the UDC, effectively broking with IDV and SEL. Road to the 2013 general election A year after the Pact of Vasto the relations between the PD and IDV had become tense. IDV and its leader, Antonio Di Pietro, were thus excluded from the coalition talks led by Bersani. To these talks were instead invited SEL, led by Nietzsche Vendola, and the Italian Socialist Party, SAI, led by Riccardo Nencini. The talks resulted, on 13 October 2012, in the Pact of Democrats and Progressives, later known as Italy common good and produced the rules for the upcoming center-left primary election, during which the PDSEL side joint candidate for prime minister in the 2013 general election would be selected. In the primary the strongest challenge to Bersani was posed by a fellow Democrat, the 37-year-old mayor of Florence Matteo Renzi, a liberal modernizer, who had officially launched his leadership bid on 13 September 2012 in Verona, Veneto. Bersani launched his own bid on 14 October in his hometown Batola, northwestern Emilia. Other candidates included Nietzsche Vendola, SEL, Bruno Tabacci, API, and Laura Papato, PD. In the meantime, in the 2012 regional election Rosario Crocetta, a Democrat, was elected president with 30.5% of the vote thanks to the support of the UDC, but the coalition failed to secure an outright majority in the regional assembly. For the first time in 50 years, a man of the left had the chance to govern Sicily. On 25 November Bersani came ahead in the first round of the primary election with 44.9% of the vote, Renzi came second with 35.5%, followed by Vendola 15.6%, Papato 2.6%, and Tabachi 1.4%. Bersani did better in the south, while Renzi prevailed in Tuscany, Umbria, and Marche. In the subsequent runoff, on 2 December, Bersani trounced Renzi 60.9% to 39.1%, by winning in each and every single region but Tuscany, where Renzi won 54.9% of the vote. The PD secretary did particularly well in Lazio 67.8%, Campania 69.4%, Apulia 71.4%, Basilicata 71.7%, Calabria 74.4%, Sicily 66.5%, and Sardinia 73.5%. 2013 general election 
In the election the PD and its coalition fared much worse than expected and according to pollsters' predictions. The PD won just 25.4% of the vote for the Chamber of Deputies minus 8.0% from 2008 and the center-left coalition narrowly won the majority in the House over the center-right coalition 29.5% to 29.3%. Even worse, in the Senate the PD and its allies failed to get an outright majority, due to the rise of the Five Star Movement M5S, and the center-right's victory in key regions, such as Lombardy, Veneto, Campania, Apulia, Calabria and Sicily. The center-right was awarded of the majority premium in those regions, leaving the center-left with just a handful of elects there. Consequently, the PD-led coalition was unable to govern alone because it lacked a majority in the Senate, which has equal power to the chamber. As a result, Bersani, who refused any agreement with the PDL and was rejected by the M5S, failed to form a government. On 17 April, after an agreement with the center-right parties, Bersani put forward Franco Marini as his party's candidate for president to succeed to Giorgio Napolitano. However, Renzi, several Democratic delegates and SEL announced that they would not support Marini. On 18 April Marini received just 521 votes in the first ballot, short of the 672 needed, as more than 200 center-left delegates rebelled. On 19 April the PD and SEL selected Romano Prodi to be their candidate in the fourth ballot. Despite his candidacy had received unanimous support among the two parties. Delegates, Prodi obtained only 395 votes in the fourth ballot as more than 100 center-left electors did not vote for him. After the vote, Prodi pulled out of the race and Bersani announced his resignation from party secretary. Also Bindi, the party's president, announced her resignation as she did not want to carry responsibility for the party's bad management during the past weeks. The day after Napolitano accepted to stand again for election and was re-elected president with the support of most parliamentary parties. On 28 April Enrico Letta, the party's deputy secretary and former Christian Democrat, was sworn in as Prime Minister of Italy at the head of a government based around a grand coalition including the PDL, Civic Choice SC, and the UDC. Letta was the first Democrat to become Prime Minister. Leadership of Guglielmo Epifani After Bersani's resignation from party secretary on 20 April 2013, the PD remained without a leader for two weeks. On the 11th of May 2013 at the National Assembly of the Party Guglielmo Epifani was elected secretary with 85.8% of vote. Epifani, Secretary General of the Italian General Confederation of Labor, CGIL, Italy's largest trade union, from 2002 to 2010, was the first former socialist to lead the party. Epifani's mission was to lead the party toward a national congress in October, a few weeks after Epifani. S election as secretary, the PD had a success in the 2013 local elections, winning in 69 communi, including Rome and all the other 14 provincial capitals up for election, while the PDL won 22 and the M5S won. On the 9th of November, Epifani announced that the PD would organize the next Congress of the Party of European Socialists (PES) in Rome in early 2014, sparking protests among some of the party. S. Christian Democrats, who opposed PES membership. Epifani was however little more than a secretary pro tempore and, in fact, he frequently repeated that he was not going to run for a full term as secretary in the leadership race that would take place in late 2013, saying that his candidacy would be a betrayal of his mandate. Four individuals filed their bid on of October, Matteo Renzi, Pippa Sabati, Johnny Cuperlo and Johnny Pitella. Leadership of Matteo Renzi As usual, the leadership race started with voting by party members in local conventions 7 to 17 November. Renzi came first with 45.3%, followed by Cuperlo 39.4%, Savati 9.4% and Pitella 5.8%. The first three were thus admitted to the open primary. 
On 8 December Renzi, who won in all regions but was stronger in the center-north, trounced his opponents with 67.6% .6 of the vote. Cuperlo, whose support was higher in the south, came second with 18.2%, while Savati, whose message did well with northern urban and progressive voters, third with 14.2%. On 15 December Renzi, whose executive included many young people and a majority of women, was proclaimed secretary by the party's National Assembly, while Cuperlo was elected president, as proposed by Renzi. On 20 January 2014 Cuperlo criticized the electoral reform proposed by Renzi in agreement with Berlusconi, but the proposal was overwhelmingly approved by the party. S. National Board. The day after the vote, Cuperlo resigned from president. He was later replaced by Matteo Orfini, who hailed from the party's left wing, but since then became more and more supportive of Renzi. After frequent calls by Renzi for a new phase, on 13 February the National Board decided to put an end to Lita's government and form a new one led by Renzi, as the latter had proposed. Subsequently, on the 22nd of February Renzi was sworn in as Prime Minister at the head of an identical coalition. On the 28th of February the PD officially joined the PES as a full member, ending a decade-long debate. Premiership of Matteo Renzi In the 2014 European Parliament election the party obtained 40.8% of the vote and 31 seats. The party's score was virtually 15 percentage points up from five years before and the best result for an Italian party in a nationwide election since the 1958 general election, when Christian Democracy won 42.4%. Also, the PD was the largest national party within the parliament in its eighth term. Following his party. S. Success, Renzi was able to secure the post of High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy within the European Commission for Federica Mogherini, his Minister of Foreign Affairs. In January 2015, Sergio Mattarella, a veteran left wing Christian Democrat and founding member of the PD, whose candidacy had been proposed by Renzi and unanimously endorsed by the party. S. Delegates, was elected President of Italy during a presidential election triggered by President Giorgio Napolitano's resignation. During Renzi's first year as Prime Minister, several MPs defected from other parties to join the PD. They comprised splinters from SEL, most of whom led by Gennaro Migliore, C. Freedom and Rights, SC, notably including Stefania Giannini, Pietro Accino and Andrea Romano, and the M5S. Consequently, the party increased its parliamentary numbers to 311 deputies and 114 senators by April 2015. Otherwise, Sergio Cafferati, Giuseppe Savati and Stefano Fassina left. They were the first and most notable splinters among the ranks of the party's internal left, but several others followed either Savati, who launched Possible, or Fasina, who launched Future to the left and Italian left, in the following months, and, by May 2016, the PD's parliamentary numbers had gone down to 303 deputies and 114 senators. In the 2015 regional elections Democratic presidents were elected, or re-elected, in five regions out of seven, Enrico Rossi in Tuscany, Luca Sericioli in Marche, Cadius Cimarini in Umbria, Vincenzo De Luca in Campania and Michel Emiliano in Apulia. As a result, 16 regions out of 20, including all those of central and southern Italy, were governed by the centre-left, while the opposition Lega Nord led Veneto and Lombardy, and propped up a centre-right government in Liguria. Road to the 2018 general election after a huge defeat in the 2016 constitutional referendum 59.9% no, 40.1% yes, in December 2016 Renzi tendered his resignation as Prime Minister and was replaced by fellow Democrat Paolo Gentiloni, whose government's composition and coalition were very similar to those of the Renzi cabinet. Following these developments, Renzi resigned also from PD secretary in February 2017 in order to run in the 2017 leadership election. Renzi, Andrea Orlando, one of the leaders of the Remake Italy faction, the other leader Matteo Orfini was the party. 
S. President and supported Renzi, and Michelle Emiliano were the three contenders for the party. S. Leadership, contextually and after, a substantial group of leftists, 24 deputies, 14 senators and 3 MEPs, led Enrico Rossi, Democratic Socialists, and Roberto Speranza, Reformist Area, backed by Massimo D. Alema, Pier Luigi Bersani and Guglielmo Epifani, left the PD and formed Article 1 Democratic and Progressive Movement MDP, along with splinters from the Italian left SI, led by Arturo Scotto. Most of the splinters, as well as Scotto, were former Democrats of the left. In December 2017 the MDP, SI and Possible would launch Free and Equal Lou, under the leadership of the President of the Senate Pietro Grasso, another PD splinter. In local conventions Renzi came first 66.7%, Orlando second 25.3%, Emiliano third 8.0%. In the open primary, the 30th of April, Renzi won 69.2% of the vote, as opposed to Orlando's 20.0% and Emiliano's 10.9%. On the 7th of May, Renzi was sworn in as secretary again, with Maurizio Martina as deputy, and Orfini was confirmed president. In the 2017 Sicilian regional election the incumbent Democratic President Rosario Crocetta did not stand and the PD was soundly defeated. In the run-up of the 2018 general election the PD tried to form a broad center-left coalition, but only minor parties showed interest. As of January 2018, the PD was in alliance with Together, a list notably including the Italian Socialist Party and the Federation of the Greens, the Popular Civic List, notably including Popular Alternative, Italy of Values, the Centrists for Europe and Solidary Democracy, and possibly, more Europe, including the Italian Radicals, Forza Europa and the Democratic Center. 2018 general election in the election the PD obtained its worst result ever, 18.7% of the vote, well behind the M5S 32.7% and narrowly ahead of the Lega 17.4%. Following his party's defeat, Renzi resigned from secretary and his deputy Martina started functioning as acting secretary. After two months of negotiations and the refusal of the PD refused to join forces with the M5S, the latter and the Lega formed a yellow-green government, under Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte, a M5S proposed independent. The PD thus returned to opposition after virtually seven years and experienced some internal turmoil as its internal factions started to reposition themselves in the new context. Both Gentiloni and Franceschini distanced from Renzi, while Carlo Calenda, a former minister in Renzi's and Gentiloni's governments who had joined the party soon after the election, proposed to merge the PD into a larger Republican front. However, according to several observers, Renzi's grip over the party was still strong and he was still the PD's leader behind the scenes. Leadership of Maurizio Martina In July Martina was elected secretary by the party's National Assembly and a new leadership election was scheduled for the first semester of 2019. As of October, four candidates have launched their bid for secretary, Nicola Zingaretti, Matteo Ricchetti, Cesare Damiano and Francesco Boccia. Ideology The PD is a big tent center-left party, influenced by the ideas of social democracy and Christian left. The common roots of the founding components of the party reside in the Italian resistance movement, the writing of Italian constitution and the historic compromise, all three events which saw the Italian Communist Party and Christian democracy, the two major forerunners of the Democrats of the left and democracy is freedom, the daisy, respectively, cooperate. The United States Democratic Party and American liberalism are also important sources of inspiration. In a 2008 interview to El Pais, Veltroni, who can be considered the main founding father of the party, clearly stated that the PD should be considered a reformist party and could not be linked to the traditional values of the left wing. To be sure, there is however a debate on whether the PD is actually a social democratic party and to what extent. For instance, Alfred Fowler observed that the P.D. 
has adopted a pronounced centrist pragmatic position, trying to appeal to a broad spectrum of middle class and working class voters, but shying away from a determined pursuit of redistributive goals. For his part, Gianfranco Pasquino observed that, for almost all the leaders, militants, and members of the PD, social democracy has never been part of their part, nor should represent their political goal, but also concluded that, its overall identity and perception are by no means those of an European style social democratic party. The party stresses national and social cohesion, progressivism, a moderate social liberalism, green issues, progressive taxation, and pro Europeanism. In this respect, the party's precursors strongly supported the need of balancing budgets in order to comply to Maastricht criteria. Under Veltroni and, more recently, Renzi, the party took a strong stance in favor of constitutional reform and of a new electoral law, on the road toward a two-party system. While traditionally supporting the social integration of immigrants, since 2017 the PD has adopted a more critical approach on the issue. Inspired by Renzi, re-elected secretary in April, and Marco Miniti, interior minister since December 2016, the party promoted stricter policies regarding immigration and public security. These policies resulted in broad criticism from the left-wing Democrats and progressives partners in government, as well as left-leaning intellectuals like Roberto Saviano and Gad Lerner. In August Lerner, who was among the founding members of the PD, left the party altogether, due to its new immigration policies. Ideological trends The PD is a plural party, including several distinct ideological trends. Social democracy the bulk of the party, including many former Democrats of the left, is social democratic and emphasizes labor and social issues. There are however traditional social democrats Andrea Orlando, Matteo Orfini and their remake Italy faction, Maurizio Martina and left is change, Johnny Cuperlo and leftem. Prior to the February 2017 split, also Massimo De Lima, Pier Luigi Bersani, Enrico Rossi and Roberto Speranza, and third way types Walter Veltroni, Piero Fassino, Debra Siracchiani, etc. While the former are supportive of democratic socialism, the latter are strongly influenced by American liberalism and new labor ideas. Christian left. The party includes many Christian-inspired members, most of whom come from the left wing of the late Christian democracy, having later joined Democracy as Freedom. The Daisy Democratic Catholics have been affiliated to several factions, including Dario Franceschini. S. Democratic Area, which includes also some leading third way social democrats as the aforementioned Fasino and Siracchiani, Enrico Letta's 360 Association, also Lettiani, mainly Christian Democrats and centrists, Giuseppe Fioroni's Populars, Rosie Bindi's Democrats Really, and the Social Christians, who adhere to Christian socialism. Social liberalism. It is endorsed by former members of the Italian Republican Party, the Italian Liberal Party and the Radical Party, and notably the Liberal PD faction. Green politics. It is endorsed mainly by former members of the Federation of the Greens and other Greens, who have jointly formed the Democratic Ecologists. It is not an easy task to include the trend represented by Matteo Renzi, whose supporters have been known as big bangers. Now or, more frequently, Renziani, in any of the categories above. The nature of Renzi's progressivism is a matter of debate and has been linked both to liberalism and populism. According to Maria Teresa Melli of Corriere della Sera, Renzi pursues a precise model, borrowed from the Labour Party and Bill Clinton's Democratic Party. Comprising a strange mix for Italy of liberal policies in the economic sphere and populism. This means that, on one side, he will attack the privileges of trade unions, especially of the CGIL, which defends only the already protected, while, on the other, he will sharply attack the vested powers, bankers, confindustria and a certain type of capitalism. International affiliation International affiliation was quite a controversial issue for the PD in its early days and, in fact, it was settled only in 2014. 
The debate on which European political party to join saw the former Democrats of the left generally in favor of the Party of European Socialists PES, and most former members of Democracy is Freedom, the DAISY in favor of the European Democratic Party EDP, a component of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe ALDE group. After the party's formation in 2007, the new party's MEPs continued to sit with the PES and ALDE groups to which their former parties had been elected during the 2004 European Parliament election. Following the 2009 European Parliament election, the party's 21 MEPs chose to unite for the new term within the European Parliamentary Group of the PES, which was renamed the Progressive Alliance of Socialists and Democrats S &D. On 15 December 2012 PD leader Pier Luigi Bersani attended in Rome the founding convention of the Progressive Alliance PA, a nascent political international for parties dissatisfied with the continued admittance and inclusion of authoritarian movements into the Socialist International. National SI. On the 22nd of May 2013 the PD was a founding member of the PA at the International's official inauguration in Leipzig, Germany on the eve of the 150th anniversary of the formation of the General German Workers' Association, the oldest of the two parties which merged in 1875 in order to form the Social Democratic Party of Germany. Matteo Renzi, a centrist who led the party in 2013-2018, wanted the party to join both the SI and the PES. On 20 February 2014 the PD leadership applied for full membership of the PES. In Renzi's view, the party would count more as a member of a major European party and, within the PES, it would join forces with alike parties such as the British Labour Party. On 28 February the PD was welcomed as a full member into the PES. Factions The PD includes several internal factions, most of which trace the previous allegiances of party members. Factions form different alliances depending on the issues and some party members have multiple factional allegiances. 2007 leadership election After the election, which saw the victory of Walter Veltroni, the party's internal composition was as follows, majority led by Walter Veltroni, 75.8%, three national lists supported the candidacy of Veltroni. The bulk of the former Democrats of the left, Veltroniani, Dallamiani, Fassiniani, the Rutiliani of Francesco Rutelli, including the Theo Dem, the Populars of Franco Marini, Liberal PD, the Social Christians and Smaller Groups, Middle Italy, European Republicans Movement, Reformist Alliance and the Reformists for Europe, formed a joint list named Democrats with Veltroni, 43.7%. The Democratic ecologists of Ermet Rilacci, together with Giovanna Melandri and Cesare Damiano, formed Environment, Innovation and Labor, 8.1%. The Democrats, Laicists, Socialists, Say Left and the Laborites, Liberal Socialists presented a list named, to the left, 7.7%. Local lists in support of Veltroni got 16.4%. Minorities led by Rosie Bindi 12.9% and Enrico Letta 11.0%, the Olivists, whose members were staunch supporters of Romano Prodi, divided in two camps. The largest one, including Arturo Parisi, endorsed Rosie Bindi, while a smaller one, including Paolo de Castro, endorsed Enrico Letta. Bindi benefited also from the support of Agazio Loiro's Southern Democratic Party, while Letta was endorsed by Lorenzo Delli's Daisy Civic List, Renato Soru's Sardinia Project and Johnny Pitella's Group of Social Democrats. 2009 leadership election after the election, which saw the victory of Pier Luigi Bersani, the party's internal composition was as follows, majority led by Pier Luigi Bersani 53. 2% Bersaniani and Dallamiani, the social democratic groups around Bersani and Massimo D. Alema, who wants the PD to be a traditional center-left party in the European social democratic tradition, D. Alema organized his faction as reformists and democrats, welcoming also some Letiani and some populars. Lettiani, the centrist group around Enrico Letta, known also as 360 Association, its members were keen supporters of an alliance with the Union of the Center. To the left, the Social Democratic and Democratic Socialist Internal Left led by Livia Turco. Democrats really, the group around Rosie Bindi and composed mainly of the left-wing members of the late Italian People's Party. Social Christians, a Christian social democratic group, that was a founding component of the Democrats of the left. 
Democracy and Socialism, a social democratic group of splinters from the Socialist Party led by Gavino Angius, Democratic Area, minority led by Dario Franceschini 34.3%, Veltroniani, followers of Walter Veltroni, basically social democrats coming from the Democrats of the left who support the so-called majoritarian vocation of the party, the selection of party candidates and leaders through primaries and a two-party system. Populars, fourth phase, heirs of the Christian left tradition of the Italian People's Party and of the left wing of the late Christian democracy. Rutiliani, centrists and liberals gathered around Francesco Rutelli, known also as Free Democrats, most of them left after Bersani's victory to form the Alliance for Italy, while a minority Paolo Gentiloni, Ermet Rilacci, etc. chose to stay. Simply Democrats, a list promoted by a diverse group of leading Democrats, Deborah Siracchiani, Rita Borsellino, Sergio Cafferati, David Sassoli and Francesca Baricu, who were committed to renewal in party leadership and cleanliness of party elects. Liberal PD, the liberal, mostly social liberal faction of the PD led by Valerio Zanone, its members have been close to Veltroni and Rutelli. Democratic Ecologists, the Green faction of the PD led by Ermet Rilacci, its members have been close to Veltroni and Rutelli. Theo Dems, a tiny Christian democratic group representing the right wing of the party on social issues, albeit being progressive on economic ones. Most Theo Dems, including their leader Paola Benetti, left the PD in 2009 2010 in order to join the UDC or the API, while others, led by Luigi Baba, chose to stay, minority led by Ignazio Marino, 12.5%, unaffiliated social liberals, social democrats, and supporters of a broad alliance including Italy of Values, the Radicals, and the the parties to the left of the PD. After the election, most of them joined Marino in an association named Change Italy. Democrats in Network, a social democratic faction of former Veltroniani led by Goffredo Bettini, non aligned faction solivists, followers of Romano Prodi who want the party to be stuck in the tradition of the olive tree. The group, which includes both Christian left exponents and social democrats, was led by Arturo Parisi. Most Olivists supported Bersani, while Parisi endorsed Franceschini. 2010-2013 Developments In the summer of 2010 Dario Franceschini, leader of Democratic Area, the largest minority faction, and Piero Fassino re-approached with Pier Luigi Bersani and joined the party majority. As a response, Walter Veltroni formed Democratic Movement to defend the original spirit of the PD. In doing this he was supported by 75 deputies, 33 Veltroniani, 35 populars close to Giuseppe Fioroni and 7 former Rutiliani led by Paolo Gentiloni. Some pundits hinted that the Bersani-Franceschini pact was envisioned in order both to marginalize Veltroni and to reduce the influence of Massimo D. Alema, the party bigwig behind Bersani, whose 2009 bid was supported primarily by Dallamiani. Veltroni and D. Alema had been longtime rivals within the center left. As of September, the party's majority was composed of those who supported Bersani since the beginning, divided in five main factions Bersaniani, Dalamiani, Lediani, Bindiani, and the party's left wing and democratic area of Franceschini and Fascino. Then, there were two minority coalitions, Veltroni. S. Democratic Movement, Veltroniani, Fioroni. S. Populars, ex Rutiliani, Democratic Ecologists, and a majority of Liberal PD members, and Change Italy of Ignazio Marino. According to Corriere della Sera, in November 2011 the party was divided mainly in three ideological camps battling for its soul. A socialist left, the Young Turks, mostly supporters of Bersani, as Stefano Fassina and Matteo Orfini. A social democratic center, it includes Bersani's core supporters, Bersaniani, Dalamiani, Bindiani. A new right, Matteo Renzi's faction, proposing an overtly liberal political line. Since November 2011, similar differences surfaced in the party over Monte Cabinet, while the party S. Right Wing, especially Liberal PD, was enthusiastic in its support. Fasina and other leftists, especially those linked to trade unions, were critical. 
In February 2012 Fasina published a book in which he described his view as neo laborate humanism and explained it in connection with Catholic social teaching, saying that his neo laborism was designed to attract Catholic voters. Once again, his opposition to economic liberalism was strongly criticized by the party. S. Right wing, as well as by Stefano Cecconti, a leading Catholic in the party and supporter of Tony Blair's New Labour, who said that a leftist platform a la Fasina would never win back the Catholic vote in places like Veneto. According to Utrend, a website, 35% of the Democratic deputies and senators elected in the 2013 general election were Bersaniani, 23% members of Democratic Area or Democratic Movement, 13% Renziani, 6% Lediani, 4.5% Dalamiani, 4.5% Young Turks, Remake Italy, 2% Bindiani, and 1.5% Savasiani. As the party performed below expectations, more Democrats started to look at Renzi, who had been defeated by Bersani in the 2012 primary election to select the center left's candidate for prime minister. In early September, two leading centrists, Franceschini and Fioroni, leaders of Democratic Area and the Populars, endorsed Renzi. Also two former leaders of the Democrats of the left, Veltroni and Fassino, decided to support Renzi, while a third, D. Alema, endorsed Johnny Cuperlo. In October four candidates filed their bid to become secretary, Renzi, Cuperlo, Pippa Savati and Johnny Pitella. 2013 leadership election after the election, which saw the victory of Matteo Renzi, the party's internal composition was as follows. Majority led by Matteo Renzi, 67.6%, Renziani, Democratic Area, Veltroniani, the Populars, Liberal PD, Most Lediani, Most Olivists, Democratic Ecologists Minority led by Johnny Cuperlo, 18.2%. Bersaniani, Dalamiani, Young Turks, Remake Italy, Most Democrats Really Minority led by Pippa Savati, 14.2% Savasiani, Laura Papato, Felice Cassin. 2014-2016 Alignments After 2013 leadership election, the party's main factions were the following Renziani the group around Matteo Renzi, PD leader and prime minister, and a liberal third way oriented and modernizing faction. Renziani supported a two party system and the so called majoritarian vocation of the PD through the formation of a party of the nation. Prominent members of the faction were Luca Lotti, Maria Elena Bashi, Graziano Del Rio, Lorenzo Guarini, Paolo Gentiloni, and Stefano Bonaccini. The faction had a Christian Democratic section, Democratic Space, which was led by Del Rio and Guarini. Also another group of Christian Democrats, the Populars of Giuseppe Fioroni, were affiliated. According to news sources, as of December 2016, full-fledged Renziani counted 50 MPs, the Populars 30 and other Renziani 25, for a total of 105. Democratic Area, a mainly Christian leftist faction, with roots in Christian democracy. S. Left Wing and the Italian People's Party. Led by Dario Franceschini, it notably included Luigi Zanda and Ettore Rosato, as well as prominent Social Democrats like Piero Fassino and Deborah Siracchiani, for a total of 90 MPs. Left is Change, a Social Democratic faction led by Maurizio Martina. Most of its members were affiliated with Reformist Area, see below, but splintered in order to support Renzi. The faction, which included, among others, Cesare Damiano, Benino Chidi and Anna Finocchiaro, counted 70 MPs. Remake Italy, a social democratic faction loyal to Renzi. Led by Matteo Orfini, the party's president, and Andrea Orlando, it counted 60 MPs. Reformist area, left. Inspired by traditional social democracy and democratic socialism, it was the main left wing of the party. It was formed by the majority of Bersaniani, loyalists of former secretary Pier Luigi Bersani. The faction's leader was Roberto Speranza. The reformists often opposed Renzi. 
S. Policies. Other than Speranza and Bersani, the faction notably included Guglielmo Epifani and Rosie Bindi, whose sub-faction was named Democrats really, and counted 60 MPs. Leftdom. Led by Johnny Cooperlo, it was another minority social democratic faction, including 15 MPs. 2017 leadership election In the run-up of the election, the faction's alignments were as follows Supporters of Matteo Renzi, 69.2% Renziani, Democratic Area, the Populars, a majority of left is change e.g. leader Maurizio Martina, who would serve as Deputy Secretary if Renzi were to win, a minority of Remake Italy, e.g. Matteo Orfini, Liberal PD, several former Lettiani, e.g. Paola de Michele, supporters of Andrea Orlando, 20.0%, a majority of Remake Italy, e.g. Roberto Galtieri, a minority of left is change e.g. Cesare Damiano. Anna Finocchiaro, Leftem, Networkdem, several former leading Beltraniani, e.g. Nicola Zingaretti, Lettiani, e.g. Alessia Mosca, Bindiani, e.g. Margarita Miato, and Olivists, e.g. Sandra Zampa, supporters of Michelle Emiliano, 10.9%, Democratic Front, formed by several PD members in the South, especially Apulia, of which Emiliano is president, some former Lettiani, e.g. Francesco Boccia. 2019 leadership election Complete list A more complete list of PD's factions is available in the following table. Popular support the PD, as previously the Italian Communist Party PCI, has its strongholds in central Italy and big cities. The party runs 15 regions out of 20 and the cities of Milan, Bologna, Florence and Bari. It also takes part to the government of the region of Trentino Alto Adige, Suterol, as well as several other cities, including Padua and Cagliari. In the 2008 and 2013 general elections the PD obtained its best results in Tuscany, 46.8% and 37.5%, Emilia-Romagna, 45.7% and 37.0%, Umbria, 44.4% and 32.1%, Marche, 41.4% and 27.7%, Liguria, 37.6% and 27.7%, and Lazio, 36.8% and 25 5.7%. Democrats are generally stronger in the north than the south, with the sole exception of Basilicata 38.6% in 2008 and 25.7% in 2013, where the party has drawn most of its personnel from Christian Democracy DC. The 2014 European Parliament election gave a thumping 40.8% of the vote to the party, which was the first Italian party to get more than 40% of the vote in a nationwide election since DC won 42.4% of the vote in the 1958 general election. In 2014, as usual, the PD did better in Tuscany 56.6%, Emilia-Romagna 52.5%, and Umbria 49.2%, but made significant gains in Lombardy 40.3%, plus 19.0% from 2009, Veneto 37.5%, plus 17.2%, and the South. The 2018 general election was a major defeat for the party, which was reduced to 18.7%, Tuscany 29.6%. The electoral results of the PD in the 10 most populated regions of Italy are shown in the table below. Electoral results Italian Parliament European Parliament Regional Councils Leadership Secretary Walter Veltroni 2007 to 2009, Dario Franceschini 2009, Pier Luigi Bersani 2009 to 2013, Guglielmo Epifani 2013, Matteo Renzi 2013 to 2017, 2017-2018, Maurizio Martina 2018 present. 
Deputy Secretary, Dario Franceschini, 2007 to 2009, Enrico Letta, 2009 to 2013, Lorenzo Guarini, 2014 to 2017, Deborah Siracchiani, 2014 to 2017, Maurizio Martina, 2017-2018. Coordinator of the Secretariat, Gifredo Bettini, 2007 to 2009; Maurizio Migliavacca, 2009 to 2013; Luca Lotti, 2013-2014; Lorenzo Guarini, 2014 to 2018; Matteo Mauri, 2018 present. Organizational Secretary, Giuseppe Fioroni, 2007 to 2009; Maurizio Migliavacca, 2009; Nico Stumpo, 2009 to 2013; Davide Zaggia, 2013 to 2013; Luca Lotti, 2013-2014; Lorenzo Guarini, 2014 to 2017; Andrea Rossi, 2017-2018; Johnny Dal Moro, 2018 present. Spokesperson, Andrea Orlando, 2008 to 2013, Lorenzo Guarini, 2013-2014, Alessia Rada, 2014 to 2017, Matteo Rischetti, 2017-2018, Mariana Madia, 2018 present. Treasurer, Mauro Agostini, 2007 to 2009, Antonio Missiani, 2009 to 2013, Francesco Bonifazi, 2013 present. President, Romano Prodi, 2007-2008, Anna Finocchiaro, Acting, 2008-2009, Rosie Bindi, 2009-2013, Johnny Cuperlo, 2013-2014, Matteo Orfini, 2014-present. Vice President, Marina Sereni, 2009-2013, Ivan Scalfarotto, 2009-2013, Matteo Ricci, 2013-2017, Sandra Zampa, 2013-2017, Domenico De Santis, 2017-present, Barbara Palestrini, 2017-present, Party leader in the Chamber of Deputies, Antonello Saro, 2007 to 2009; Dario Franceschini, 2009 to 2013; Roberto Speranza, 2013 to 2015; Ettore Rosato, 2015 to 2018; Graziano Del Rio, 2018 present. Party leader in the Senate, Anna Finocchiaro, 2007 to 2013; Luigi Zanda, 2013 to 2018; Andrea Marcucci, 2018 present. Party leader in the European Parliament, David Sassoli, 2009-2014, Patrizia Toya, 2014-present. Symbols See also List of Secretaries of the Democratic Party, Italy Historic Compromise Festa de Lanita References External links Manifesto of Values of the Democratic Party Parliamentary Group in the Chamber of Deputies Parliamentary Group in the Senate